Hey guys, it's Vince. Um, this video is going to cover something that I get asked quite frequently, um, or I get told quite frequently. I get asked a lot of questions about capabilities, and I also get um, guys telling me they're just doing this for a hobby. Um, I don't think a lot of people realize the technology they're purchasing, and with this video, I'm about to sum up what this kind of technology with the proper application can really do. Um, what you see before you is one of my proprietary six-axis systems. Again, you are seeing the four drives in the back. They're all labeled. Um, the company that purchased this, um, they contracted me last week. I spoke to their engineering manager, and the company is called Applied Materials. For you guys who are not aware of who Applied Materials are, Google them. Um, they're massive. Fortune 500 company. They manufacture lots of electronic components. I mean, you, you, I can go, I'm not going to go into complete detail of what they do, um, but overall, if you Google them, you'll, you'll see exactly what I'm saying. Um, it's really interesting in the fact that they're purchasing the same systems that I offer to the general public. And when I say that, that should really make that light bulb go off as far as what the capabilities of these systems are. The accuracy that this system produces in the right hands on the right chassis is totally professional in the fact that if you were reselling, you would be fine with that. If you're doing prototyping, you would be fine with that. The accuracy can vary once again on chassis, but you can easily get it down on the proper chassis down to a thousandth of an inch, guys. And that's totally within resale rights on just about every product I can think of. Um, that being said, it really comes down to, um, you know, how creative you are and how educated you are as far as learning the software that you're using. But um, I wanted to give you a breakdown on this chassis because a lot of guys have never seen a six-axis chassis and no one has ever seen, or at least I've never seen, a six-axis chassis like the one I've designed here on top of the fact of seeing one with actually six axis of movement inside of it. So what I'm going to do is pan the camera around. I'll give you guys a breakdown. Um, mind you, this is not a chassis for a novice, okay? This six axis of, of motion is a lot of motion. Um, it costs a lot of money. It's not a cheap system to fabricate. And again, it's just to show you what, what is out there as far as capabilities. If you think about it, the only thing different from this chassis and the G540 that I offer or it, or even the G251s, which are inside this, the G251X, is inside the G540. So the only thing this chassis actually has is six of the drives that are coming installed already in the G540. So if you think about that, you're basically buying a larger G540 with this system. Okay. That being said, I'm going to pan the camera around now and give you guys a breakdown. Again, you do have the axis. They're all, they're all labeled. Um, you have two more axis on the side giving you the six. You also have got the 65 CFM Sanyo Denki to make sure that this, this unit stays nice and cool. Six axis DB25 breakout for ease of, ease of operation along with um, UC100 capability. You just plug and play it, you're pretty much good to go. Again, we do have our metal mesh fan filter, which of course I feel is mandatory if you're going to do it right, do it right. Fan filter can be removed and, and cleaned on the outside, very simply remove four screws, we're good. I even give you a notice on there when they clean the fan bi-weekly. Um, let me just put the camera down. I'm going to remove the lid. Okay. This is what six axis looks like. Everything you see here with the power distribution terminals, those are toolless. Anything with a thumb nut, a brass thumb nut, is toolless. Okay, and why this looks like a mess garb of just you know crazy wires it really isn't and I'm going to explain why everything you see here going into these terminals is set up as a plug it's in a modular design so instead of you having to wire each individual wire into these drives you simply just plug in this module similar to a Molex connector on a PC and the unit is set to go okay if you look at the reflection on the power supply you can see it's an over under design so you have three drives on top and three on the bottom along with heat sinks, which are mounted, again, to optimize cooling. If you look over here, again, you've got your breakout board, real simple. Um, if you look over here, you do have your earth ground, which every system should have. And then you also have your common ground, which goes right to your breakout board. 
Okay, we don't want any ground loops, so therefore we separate our grounds, guys. Don't ever forget to do that because you will run into issues. Got a 48 volt, 12 and a half amp power supply. She's selectable. Five volt auxiliary powering your breakout. You see her hidden over in the corner there. And then you've got your fan and everything is set up. Now what this system does, now with six axis installed, if you ever had to service this unit, you would just use the thumb nuts here. You can undo them in two minutes and you're good to go. Um, again, the person and company that purchased this, they understood what this was capable of. Again, you see this sheeting here. This sheathing actually has a military grade um, insulating factor for uh, shielding so that uh, not only is it a heat shrink, it actually has integrated shielding. And that goes over all the motor input pins as well as the actual motor connectors here as well. Motor connectors are all, all grounded as well to earth ground. So every base has been covered here, guys. This is the real deal. When you purchase something from me, I want you just to understand the gravity of what you're getting, okay? If I'm building for a Fortune 500, you can rest assured I'm using that same knowledge to build your system, okay? And I can't emphasize that enough. When you see these type of systems and you see who's using these type of systems, it should really ring a bell to you and let you know that while a hobby is really cool to see motion and whatnot, these are being used to produce very, very valuable incomes, especially in a company like that. I'm sure he's doing prototyping and all kinds of stuff, because six axis, everybody will tell you, that's a lot of movement. So, and he didn't, I mean, this is not a cheap system. Matter of fact, hold on one second, I'm gonna pan around, and I'll show you the front of the unit. And again, totally professional, fully graphed, LED switch, you're good. Again, your mushroom e stop, that's typical. Um, one I'm really proud of right here, made in the USA. If you look over here now, I'm gonna pan around. Again, we'll come up this way. You can see the rear of the unit. Everything, all heat shrunk, all solder and flux connections. You're looking at well over 100 solder connections here, guys. All the heat shrink, everything you see. There's a lot of work here. And I'm telling you right now, if you think you can buy these and, and you know, you're just able to do woodworking or you're just able to fool around in your basement, I'm telling you now, I cannot emphasize, don't miss the point that this technology is being used by large companies to make large amounts of money because it is. Um, on top of that, I'm going to turn it on right now. It's going to get loud. I'll show you the inside with everything on. Here's soft on, everything kicks on. She is fuse protected, of course. You can see all six of those beautiful drives are all lit. Everything is set to go. Breakout board is lit. You're now ready to go. You can see here also all your resistors are installed for each individual channel. And each axis then will go into standby mode when, uh, if you're at idle, it'll reduce current on the G251Xs down to 70%, so your motors aren't, aren't overheating unnecessarily. Then you got your, just turn her around a second, you got your power LED in the front. Going green, and everything else is set to go. So I hope this video really answers that question of what you can do. It's really not what you can do, it's what you can't do. I mean, if you really keep your mind open and um, just stay focused on you know an idea that you may have I guarantee you that this will definitely help you I mean without a doubt all in the system as far as motion control if you have a chassis in mind and you're looking to get into this and you're looking to make a profit with it I'm telling you right now it can be done this equipment is totally usable to make a profit with and the only thing you really got to do is have an idea 
um, even if you can calculate in your budget, again, this is massive. This is six axis. Most guys are not going to require a six axis system, especially from the beginning. But if you do, um, I can honestly say, uh, once again, a large Fortune 500 corporation just purchased this. They know what the capabilities are. They know what they're looking at doing, and they are using it to make money, which means they are no different than you. So keep focused. Um, if you have any questions, don't be afraid to message me. I'm always looking forward to helping you guys. Um, if you want to see videos on a certain topic, let me know. I am going to be releasing a couple videos on some new products that I have. I've been working on some CAD CAM software packages, and I got some really cool. Uh, I got a really cool deal going. Um, I'm about to release that. It'll definitely help a lot of you guys that don't want to spend a lot of money but get the largest bang for your buck. Um, and I, once again, you know, anything I can do to help you, let me know. I'll do some videos and we'll see where we can go. If you have a system now and you have having issues and I usually get messaged about that, let me know. And, you know, once again, hopefully my videos will help you make decisions at least to, you know, further your buck. Everybody who's starting a small business, that's one of the things that sucks in America today. It's not easy to do without taking out additional loans. I can honestly say this is one, one initial trade that you can get into if you're careful with a very, very low investment. I mean, especially considering getting a business today, I mean, average loans start at between fifty to 75000 You don't need even close to that to start this. Really, you need an idea first. Once you get the idea, you can go from there and figure out exactly where you want to go. But um, hopefully this helps anybody. If you guys do have any questions, once again, please message me. Take care. Thank you.